Sa kasalukuyan, kamusta kay Martians? Today, I specifically want to talk about what I learned traveling as a videographer. So Martians, kung napanood nyo yung past few vlogs ko, nagkaroon ako ng 5 trips outside the country. From Singapore, to Thailand, to Japan, to Tokyo, to Kyoto, and then Tokyo again. So, ano nga ba ang napansin ko at natutunan ko traveling as a run and gun videographer? So the first thing I learned is to do your research. What's important is to know ano yung pupuntahan yung destination sa isang specific cut. Like, let's say sa Singapore, I did my research na ang mapupuntahan mo specifically is yung common places like the Merlion, Marina Bay Sands, yung Avatarish something-something na parang mga puno-puno. Sa Thailand naman, napuntahan ko yung mga temple na hindi ko alam yung tawag pero nandun yung Golden Buddha na nakahiga na sinasabi nilang swerte daw pag napuntahan mo yun in your life. What I also did was sumakay kami ng bangka para itour yung mga temples na madadaanan across sa isang lake. If you have the time to research yung lugar na pupuntahan nyo, malaking advantage siya for you. Dahil alam mo na agad yung kukuharan mo or in the best possible way alam mo na yung shots na gusto mo. Second advantage advice I can give you guys is gear does matter. Ang ibig sabihin ko, pag mas marami kang bit-bit, mas mabilis kang mapapagod. Pag mas mabilis kang mapapagod, mas mabilis kang mauubusan ng creative juice. Yun yung nangyari sa akin. Ang napansin ko, these past few labas ko ng ibang countries, is paliit ng paliit yung setup na meron ako. From big gigantic tripod to super duper small tripod, from big gimbal to super duper small gimbal, DJI R3 Mini, and then itong small rig na tripod na to na na-extend ko, then at least na bag down ko yung weight. Thus, this also highlights my third tip, make everything light. Ang dala ko lang po is isang camera, tatlong battery, possibly dalawang lens, at ito, nakalagay lang sa isang compact na backpack. Kasi nga, for me, it's really mentally draining when you're physically tired. And share ko lang naman, out of all my trips, yung pinaka nakakapagod is yung sa Japan. Dahil sobrang dami naming lakad, pero sobrang worth it nung lakad na ginawa namin kasi ang daming random places. Sobrang worth it ibirol. Which connect us to the fourth tip rather which is be mindful of your shots or let's rephrase that make every shot count sabihin na lang natin ganito dati pa ako lumabas ng ibang bansa sobrang dami ko sigurong shots at sobrang dami kong shots na hindi naman magagamit compared to now sobrang tipid ko kumuha pero sobrang pili na sobrang yun na parang ito na yung latag parang alam ko na yung mga kailangan lang na extra that's partly what makes you pro so last bit of advice Siguro from me, I've been doing this for years. Hindi yung travel ah. But shooting video for years has been quite exhausting. Oo, nandun yung passion. But you have to wake up to reality. Na when it comes to shooting outside, when you're walking, when you're really actually, you're doing the traveling thing. Lahat ng mga napanood yung travel videos, lahat ng mga napanood yung advice on how to shoot, possibly makakalimutan nyo. That's why it's always, always important to condition yourself. Prepare yourself mentally physically as well especially yeah, after doing your research and you know that it's going to be a bumpy road going to the specific place that you want to go you really have to condition yourself inspire yourself more by watching a lot of videos kasi yung passion for me passion is something that happens or something that you feel that is flowing in you when you're tired yun lang din yung greatest advice na may ko sa inyo conditionan nyo rin yung sarili and of course groom yourself plus that is it for this vlog make sure to like and subscribe I hope this video helped you out and if it did don't forget to ring the notification bell para sa mga susunod na uploads. I'll be uploading more videos soon. And yeah, I hope to see you guys on the next video. Peace out.